everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well, or if this is your first time here. My name's Ailey, I'm a mum of two from Glasgow. I live with my husband Andy, our little boy Oliver who is two, and our little boy Marcus who is six months old. So we live in a two bedroom house, and obviously as soon as I fell pregnant with Marcus, we knew that the boys were gonna have to share a room at some point. Marcus has been in my room for the last six months, but it's coming to the time now where Marcus needs to go into his own room and Oliver needs to go into a big boy bed. He's now two and a half and we've kind of put it off for the last few months just because we've been waiting to do this room. It has been hard work because it's been a big transformation. I'm going to leave a link below to our old nursery and how we had it set up for Oliver. It was completely different. We actually used to have fitted wardrobes over here. So we've had to take them out, replaster, put new flooring down and change all the storage about. We've got a bit of a walk-in wardrobe now, which is really cool. Today's video is also sponsored by Decenio. I have worked with them before and I've also just used them myself in the past. Their prints are amazing quality. There's so much selection and I love the frames from them as well. So I'm going to be giving you a discount code at some point in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. I'll also leave the details below if you want to go and check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. This is Marcus. He is going to be sitting in on today's video. Best behaviour, okay? Okay, so this is what you see when you come into the room. I'll just do a big pan of the room first. And then I will go into more detail about all the little bits of it. Okay, so this whole inspiration from this room came from this chair here. We've had this in our house for about five years. I actually got it from very.co.uk and it used to be in our living room and then I moved it up here and I just love the colour of it. So I knew that I wanted to keep this in here. I knew I wanted colour in the walls rather than white, but I didn't want to have this against the same coloured wall. So, took this idea from Pinterest and I just love how it's turned out. So, what you do is you section off part of the wall with frog tape and you can keep that a different colour or a pattern and it really just sections off the room and it works really, really well. So, this is our little reading corner. We, this is how we had it in Oliver's room as a reading corner as well. And I bought these little decals for the wall. On the walls here we have Statue of Liberty by Val Spar and then a slightly darker colour on this wall, which kind of tricks the eye into making it look a bit of a bigger room. This colour is called April Rain. So I think the two colours together are amazing. And with this little bit in the corner, it really sets off the colour of this chair. So I'll show you over here. Going through this room is a little bit of a loose jungle theme. So there's quite a lot of giraffes, there's some like jungle animals and there's a train track as well, but it's mostly just things that Oliver loves just now and I'm hoping that Marcus will love it too. I think he's called Goofy Giraffe. I'll leave the link to him below, but he's just the cutest thing ever. Oliver absolutely loves the giraffe. So in the reading corner, we have our little chair and a cushion from Primark. I'm gonna leave the links to everything below, so if I don't mention it here, then you will be able to find it below. And then on this wall, we have these wooden house shelves, which I am in love with. I was actually gonna leave this bit blank and then I saw these online. <laughs> And then I saw these online and I thought they would be perfect. So in our house shelves, we have a little lion from Next, an Ikea plant, one from Tesco, which actually does have a plant in it. You just can't really see it. And I just think this adds the whole color palette together. Um, as soon as you walk in the room, you can see what kind of colors are in here. The house shelves were actually gifted to me from the Modern Nursery. There's a few things in here that they have sent to me and they've been great. That kind of style is absolutely perfect for this room. I'm really, really happy with those. So down here for the books, we used to have some shelves up here, but I saw this in Matalan and I thought it would be perfect for storing books because a lot of his little books are um, like wee thin ones. He loves these Maisie books. This is a really good wee place to keep them stored. And then one of my favourite things about the whole room is this rug. This is from a brand called Kids Concept and it is a big train track as you can see. Oliver's really really into cars just now and trains as well um, but he actually just takes his cars all the way around the track on this and he loves it. I actually bought this after the full room was done and it just tied in perfectly. The colours are just, it could not have been better. I feel like it was made for this room. The pattern is really really nice and detailed and it's a lovely texture as well so um, yeah this will be a good one. I'm just hoping it stays clean because it's got bits of white in it which is never good for a rug but I love it. And then I will bring you over to this side of the room. So this is Oliver's. He is going into his big boy bed, or it's a toddler bed. So over here is the cot, and this is where Oliver used to sleep. This is the mother care Lulworth, 
and this is it set up as the cot bed. We actually managed to source the same one on Gumtree for like £60 or something which was really good because I wanted them to match but I didn't really see the point in buying a full new thing again, like a full new cot bed when we'd only use the bed version of it. So here we have it, it's worked out really well. So over here are some storage boxes which again feel like they were made for this room. I only found them a couple of days ago in TK Maxx and didn't have fit into this room better. Although I was thinking if I had found just white storage boxes I could have stuck some of the decals on this to make it fit. But yeah, these came like this. I think they were six or seven pounds. And inside we just have Oliver's toys, like his cars in here and then his mega blocks in here. Okay, so this is Oliver's bed here. I wanted to keep it quite simple with the cushions and stuff because it, it's just a recipe for mess, I think, if you've got too much on a toddler bed. So the covers were from the Modern Nursery. I found it quite difficult to find um, cot bed covers that were a nice, like, modern kind of print. And especially in black and white, I still haven't found any fitted sheets in black and white, so let me know if you can find any <laughs> online. So this cushion is from Matalan. This one here is from the modern nursery and I love that it adds this kind of colour in here. It's kind of, it's coming up a bit red on this camera but it's more of a, it's actually called terracotta and yeah the colour against the blue is just amazing. These colours together are just my favourite. This kind of steely blue, yellow and terracotta, it's just so nice. Um, and then I've got our little elephant over here is for bigger toys that don't fit in anything so he's got his buggy and his big pirate ship. And then on this wall we have the shelf that used to be in our reading corner. This shelf I kept more or less the same as it was when it was Oliver's room. So it's an Ikea picture shelf. We just have this actually, I was thinking of putting some more like personalised frames in here and um, like getting some nice pictures from the boys. These are just wee postcards but um, I was thinking of putting in some nice black and white pictures of Oliver and Marcus. And then we have Oliver's little fox some cuddly toys. This was from Hobbycraft and I just sprayed it gold because I wanted to have some wee gold things in here. And yeah, I think it goes really well over this shelf. And I love this little area. I think it's my favourite. Just to tie it all in, I have added two frames from Decenio. So I have this one here which says, today will be great. And it's got the lovely, it's got the exact same blue. Like it's almost the exact same. So it looks like it's made for this room. I went for black frames because I think they really stand out on this colour of wall. And then I have another giraffe. Oliver loves this one as well. He just, giraffes are his favourite. And this ties in really well with the colour scheme in here. Do you want us to come to you next? So just quickly before I show you Marcus's side, this is the toy box. It is full to the brim and really needs cleared out, but it has a good amount of storage in it. This is from Jojo Mum and Baby. And yeah, it's really, really great. So over here is Marcus's side of the room. He has been shouting for attention the whole time. So let's show you. Okay, so in the cot we have one lovely little baby. Here is Marcus and he still sleeps in his sleepy head just now so we don't actually have proper cot sheets or anything on this because um, he will just sleep on top of this. Um, this throw was from, uh, where was it from? Asda and oh my god it is the softest thing ever. Like I can't can't believe how soft it is. I think it was £20 and the colour scheme is just perfect. This kind of pinky colour goes great with the terracotta and there's actually a bit of pink on the rug. These guys here. So um, it ties in really well and it matches your outfit actually. So I just have a couple of cushions in Marcus's cot. This one is TK Maxx and this one is Matalan. Colour is coming out a lot bolder on here for some reason but um, yeah. It's just a really nice colour contrast and it ties it all in here. And then the cot mobile is from Mamas and Papas. This was Oliver's one, but my taste obviously hasn't changed because all the same colours still work with the new room. And then we have Whisper over here. We actually don't use him a lot because Marcus sleeps really, really well, but I think he's quite a good um, little accessory for the cot. And then just to add a little bit of mustard, we have this blanket from b &M. And the last little bit to show you is our wash basket, which is from Ikea, and this little height chart, which is from the Modern Nursery. So my plan is to fill this out, maybe like once a month or something, and yeah, just get the boys' height on it and I can mark it up. This is like paper, so um, I can just mark it up and put the date on it and stuff, and I think this will just be really, really cute to have in their shared room. So when this was Oliver's room, we actually used to have the double wardrobes, as I said, the fitted wardrobes, and we also had a double set of drawers, which was far too much storage. 
You, you think you can never have too much storage, but you can because most of it was empty. And once we knew that the boys were going to share a room, the one thing that I wanted to make sure was that they had space to play because we don't have a huge house. We need storage for their toys and everything. And having the wardrobes in here and the drawers were just going to be far too much. We just needed to get rid of them. So as soon as we get rid of the double drawers, it opened up so much room. That's why we've been able to have this big play area now that the boys can play in when Marcus gets a bit bigger. And... We have made use of this cupboard, which was previously filled with junk. Like, it was literally, you used to open it and it's filled with bits of prams and mess. Absolute mess. So, we have taken everything out of it, cleared it out, and I will show you. So, we have turned this into a little walk-in wardrobe. Honestly, it wasn't until we took everything out of here and planned it out that we realised how much we were just wasting space by having this as a storage cupboard. So what we did was we bought ourselves three, a three drawer high Malm drawer from Ikea, which Oliver's one was twice the size of this and we just did not need the space. And if you use the Marie Kondo method of folding, it is more than enough for two boys. Like Oliver has so much stuff and it is all neatly away in these drawers and Marcus's stuff all fits into this drawer there's just there's so much room when you fold this way it takes a bit longer but it does make the best use of the space um so we have all of our stuff marcus's stuff and in this one this one's packed full <laughs> this one has not been manicondo this one is nappies um a bath towel and just like products and stuff this one's a mess but it keeps everything in order so on top of the doors i have this other little wicker thing which just has like spare things in it like hats we also put in socks that don't have a partner yet um, when we are putting washing away and we can't find anything for them so that is a neat place to store them that is one of my gripes is socks that don't match so we've got them in here and then we have this little guy from ikea he just didn't have a place so he has went in here and then we have another print from decennio this one's hakuna matata and i thought it was quite good to have it in here because i feel like you would walk in here in the morning and see a nice little motivational um, reminder. It means no worries. <laughs> and then over here is a hanging rail. So this was still here when we moved in. Again, this was just a complete waste that we didn't use it for this before. But we also have hanging space for the boys. So things that don't fold well, um, like cardigans and stuff, I will tend to just hang them up in here. And then we have Marcus's, um, what are these called again? Sleeping bags. Yeah, we have his little sleeping bags hanging up here. And then up here is another cupboard that was here when we moved in and that is just filled with swimming things and carriers and everything like that. We also put in this little shelf here. So I feel like this made it look like a bit of a cloakroom which is really cute. Just to put shoes on, so these are Oliver's shoes. Most of his shoes are downstairs but um, these are actually ones that are too small for him. He doesn't wear these ones a lot. These are ones that he does wear a lot but they're upstairs and underneath I've managed to just fit in our changing bag so it really is all the storage that we need we have a little blind in here too and um oh on here is a pom-pom garland that i didn't know what to do with so it's just sitting there now i love having this space everything feels much more organized and i feel like we finally found the reason why we have a little cupboard with a window because <laughs> we always wondered and i almost forgot the light so this light is from ikea it actually comes with a bit of a big like metal pendant thing which we didn't use we just used the, la the lampshade and the white but inside this is the room all finished finally i'm so happy that i can say that so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and you got some ideas if you're also thinking of having a toddler baby shared bedroom if you want to keep up with me i'll leave my link to my instagram below if you want to follow and i'll do like updates on stories and stuff and let you know how we're getting on with settling in having the two of them in the same room at night wish me luck for that thanks very much to decennio for sponsoring this video i'm going to leave a link below to their website and to the prints that i've shown you today and i'm also going to give you a little discount code so you can get some money off if you enjoy watching room tours on youtube i will also leave some of my other videos that i've done below don't forget to give this one a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye